On this trip, great company, an adventure. I ran aground, managed to push myself off. And a great overnight camp. I'm back at Lake Macquarie with Steve and Trevor and their Inu trade boats and this time we're going to do an overnight trip. Loki, 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 hello, hello, you coming for a sail? Yeah. Just preparing to leave Stiles Point. Yeah, about there. You're probably going to get wet feet. It's not very yeah, deep. thing about Stiles Point is the ramp is very shallow, so it's quite hard to get the boat off the trailer. It's a nice spot to moor overnight, quite shallow. And Steve's brought his good mate Marshall along for the trip. Tell you what, this full mower is really fast. Yeah, it gets so long, doesn't it? So Trevor's in the Tammy Nori on the right hand side, and Steve's in the Fulmar on the left. So the wind's predicted to be three or four knots, which isn't a lot to start with, but hopefully it'll pick up later. And the plan is to head from Stiles Point side of Lake Macquarie over to Swansea and then stay in one of the sand islands on that side. It's beautiful and it's an awesome day. Steve's Fulmar is very fast. It's a bit frustrating because both uh, Steve and Trevor's boats are 10 times faster than mine. Um, but they're disappearing into the distance even though there's just light winds. Um, so I've, I've cheated and I've shaken out the reef. Um, yeah, but I, I guess it's because I'm so much heavier. Uh, but yes, they've got quite a long way away. Anyway, it's not a race, is it? It's the journey. It's getting there. I wouldn't mind going a bit faster though. I'd like to say I caught them up, but actually they uh, eat too to let them catch up. Did you miss us? I did. I thought, my God, they're going to sail off into the sunset. I'll never see them again. <laughs> it's a very fast boat, by me. So Swansea's over there, and the island we're going to stay on is over there somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. It's a man-made island with the uh, sand they pump out to dredge the channel out to the ocean and dump it there. The last time we came up here, we came from way down there, the point on the right-hand side. That's where it was very choppy last time. So I've never been this far north before. It's not a race. <laughs> I did bring a beanie. So it's very shallow. And we're trying to get to this island here without running aground. So we're just trying to find if there's a deep channel to get in there. It might be a bit further down. We've abandoned the idea of Elizabeth Island or the Sand Island off the Swansea Channel. It was just too shallow. I ran aground once and managed to push myself off, but it's shallow for quite a long way out, unless you've got zero draft. Um, so 
not a good idea. So plan B, we're now going to head to Paul Bar Island, which is over here behind Wandji Wandji Point. So that's the plan. Um, I think it's only about 1.30, 2 o'clock, so we should get there probably within a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. Yeah, it's a shame about Sand Island because I really wanted to stay there because um, you can have fires and everything. Um, but it's just, it was just too shallow, couldn't get there. Trevor and Steve probably could have done. They probably only draw about 10 centimeters, but I need 44. And I couldn't even really get close. It would probably be about 60, 80 meters off the beach, which is a bit too far to walk up to your waist in water or up to your knees in water. Um, anyway, what will be will be. Beautiful day for being on the water. Nobody around. I really do like Lake Macquarie. So that's Wanji Wanji Point, which we've got to go around and pull by islands behind that. It's so peaceful, I haven't been for sale for about six weeks. In fact, the last time I came up here. Uh, and it's been pretty cold in Sydney. Well, we've been having our slow combustion heater on at night. It's been a little bit chilly. Um, chilly by our standards is like 15 degrees. Um, it's not really chilly by North American standards, but there you go. Well, we're still in autumn, coming into winter. And I think the temperature today was meant to be 18, 17, 18, but uh, in the sun it feels really warm. A bit, bit cool in the shade, but um, you know, you can't beat this, really. You cannot beat this. And that's Paul Bar Island over there, and you can just see Trevor in the distance behind that boat on the right, I think getting a little chilly now. It's probably uh, half past three. Okay, so it's time for dinner. I've had to wade out to the boat and the water is a little bit chilly up to the waist, uh, but I'm gonna cook here and then uh, go back and join them. So, inspired by Roger Barnes, I'm gonna have a go at making kedgeri. That's smoked fish with rice, but I think I'm gonna use couscous instead. Um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Got the water boiling for the couscous. Gonna use some smoked salmon. We use this quite a bit making a pasta dish and it's really nice. Some peas. And what Roger didn't use that I think you meant to use is mayonnaise. That makes all the difference. So you meant to have hard boiled eggs with kedgeri, so I'm gonna boil some eggs as well. So there's my couscous and peas. And while that's happening, I'll boil some water for the eggs. So we're all set up for the night. It is a little chilly out, but uh, not quite as chilly as England, I think. So for all those people that have commented about uh, my cooking ability, I'm trying to improve kedgeri with smoked salmon. And you know what? I think it's gonna be a winner. It's cold. Can you see? It's cold. So I've just added some smoked salmon and spinach to the peas and the couscous. Just waiting for the eggs to boil. Looks all right, smells all right. So there we have it. It's not really a magazine cover, but this is kedgeri. This is my go-to meal now instead of vegetarian curries. Um, just as easy to make. This is so good. Trust me, I'm not a doctor. Good morning, just got up. It's a beautiful morning here at Lake Macquarie. No wind at all. The night was interesting. My air bed went down. Yes, I don't know if it's got a puncture or a leaky valve or something, I don't know. 
Um, anyway, it's a beautiful morning. Look at this. There's Steve and Trevor's boat over there. There was very heavy dew last night. Stornoway 18 draws about 44 centimetres, so I can actually get pretty close. I've pulled it out a bit, um, and then I just pull in the stern line to get it closer to the beach to get out, and you probably get wet to about uh, just above the knees. Just let that brew for a bit. Morning, Steve. Morning, Paul. Nice, it's, nice night. It, it, yeah, it was a lovely night, mild, and uh, it was quite good. Very warm. How did you go? Yeah, not bad. Marshall snoring wasn't too bad. <laughs> no, not too. Bad. Uh, Marshall didn't hear any snoring. <laughs> <laughs> and did you go travel right down there? Day dry, which was awesome. Yeah, it's very heavy too this morning. God, yeah. everything is soaked yeah. on the boat. That was good. And this is a great spot, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It is a great spot. <laughs> So for breakfast, I'm going to have what I'm going to call gourmet scrambled eggs. That's scrambled eggs with mushrooms, onions and tomatoes. Should be nice. Trev's about to head back. He lives in Lake Macquarie and he's going to sail to the boat ramp and get his wife to come and pick him up. Very nice. Civilised. Try not to knock it off of the cooker. So there you go. Gourmet scrambled eggs with mushrooms, tomatoes and onions. Next time I'll add some spinach or spring onions or something. Doesn't look very good, but it tastes very nice. It's about 9.30 in the morning. I'm motoring out. I'm just trying to go out and find some wind. Uh, Steve's over there and he's gonna go and get a coffee over at Murray's Beach. But I, um, I'm a bit worried about getting back in time. So, uh, as there's no wind, and I don't think I can motor all the way because I won't have enough juice. He may end up uh, towing me, hopefully not though. The wind should pick up soon. It is meant to be 15 knots, but I can't see that really. Anyway, beautiful night. Slept well apart from the lilo going down. Um, I'll have to sort that out. Yeah, anyway. The wind's trying to blow. It's probably less than a knot at the moment. Very peaceful out here. Anyway, it beats mowing the lawn. Bit of wind now. So that's Wanji Wanji Caravan Park. And next to it you can see a little bay, which doesn't look uh, which doesn't look too bad. I don't think there's a beach, but it looks like a fairly protected little cove for an overnighter. And up ahead there's quite a few boats more, so we'll have a look and see what's in there. I think that's the Wanji Wanji Point boat ramp that Trevor was talking about. Not much parking, but uh, the ramp looks quite big. So all of this is a caravan park. Not a bad spot if you want to camping or caravanning. 
And the view is across there. It's back towards Swansea, which is just up to the left of it. So, guy doing some aerobatics. Terrifying putting planes into a storm. I think it's very good for the soul. Sailing, very good for the soul. I've got the boat balanced nicely so I don't have to steer at all. Last night was fantastic. Nice campfire, uh, good company, bit of red wine, bit of port. Good fun. I can see Steve down there. You can just see a tan sail on the tree line. Very nice, gentle sail. It's a great sail. I was going to go all the way across, but then I thought it was too far, so I turned around halfway. It's a marine police boat. There's lights flashing. I suppose they're doing breath tests or checking something like that. Oh, well, there you go. The reason he was stopping people is it's an air show going on at 12 o'clock and that's uh, probably a guy which is practicing and they, they're going to fly over the water so I've got to stay on this far side um, which is useful to know. So this is quite interesting there's obviously some big event going on here today at Rath this is Rath the back of Rathmines I think so I'm sailing through a moored fleet that are all here to watch the air show and over there, there's a model yacht regatta going on. I'll see how close I can get. Yeah. Steve's gone far too far, so hopefully he can get back. Star Wars thing going on. Looks like a good day. I'll come up here next year and have a look. It's coming this way, I reckon. This is where the old Catalina flying boats used to be launched. There's a lot of old buildings. Coming out of the sun again.
Thanks for watching Sailing Cape Louise. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.